Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Georgia and I'm mainly reviewing fragrances for men and women. Today I'm going to talk about a new discovery of mine and the name of the company is Korlov. The fragrance is Korlov. This is the packaging. 88 ml or 3 fluid ounces and this is the bottle of course. It's beautiful interesting detail to everything nice combination of gold and red I like it but before we start about this fragrance I'm gonna tell you a couple of things about the company that created this fragrance or the fragrance line Korloff is a French jewelry company owned by Daniel Palaiseur and it was established or founded in 1978 the name Korloff is inspired after the famous black diamond, Korlov diamond, owned by this Russian noble family. And the name of the Russian uh, noble fam family, of course, is Korlov Sapochnikov. Daniel Palaser purchased this diamond in 1978. So therefore, the inspiration, and also if you look at this cap, it has a diamond shape. Now, it was, it's... It was, it, it's said that whoever owns the diamond um, is a lucky guy, so has prosperity and happiness. And of course, that's not a lie because uh, Korlov is actually a very high-end jewelry company that opens stores all over the world. And as every reputable jewelry company, they also created a fragrance line. They also worked with a couple of perfumers. I'm not sure who created this fragrance. However, it might be Daniel Palliser itself because he worked also with Olivier Cresp, with Julien Rasquitin, and also with Coraline Spicer. So those are the perfumers that collaborated with Korlov in the creation of this fragrance line. And today we're going to talk about Korlov. This is an amber and floral fragrance for women created in 2021. The notes behind or in this fragrance are as follow. In the top, we have heliotrope, solar notes, and flowers. In the middle, we have white wood and orange blossom, and also lily of the valley and orange. And in the base, we have vanilla, milk mousse, mousse and musk now to me forget about the notes because this fragrance out of all these notes to me it smells like a very milky almond with some vanilla notes and also some floral notes but this is in the background you can't really you know it's just the the notes that promote the this almondy note it reminds me of Hypnotic Poison by Dior. And also by, it has this Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe as well. But it's not a clone for Baccarat Rouge and it's not a clone for Pure, po uh, not Pure Poison, Hypnotic Poison by Dior. So if you would combine the Hypnotic Poison by Dior with a Baccarat Rouge, you get Korlov by Korlov. That's how I would describe this fragrance. But it's a more toned down fragrance. And by the way, I used it today, so I'm going to spray it on myself. I love this fragrance. It is a sexy fragrance. It's not too in your face. So it's out there. You know it's there. But it's not too potent compared with Baccarat Rouge and Hypnotic Poison, of course. Uh, the lasting power is also good on me, it lasts on my skin, I'm talking about, eight hours. Of course, on the clothing, it might last longer. But on my skin, up to eight hours. And it's beautiful to wear in the spring time, in the fall also. Like I said, it is a almondy, a milky almondy vanilla with some floral notes in the background. Korlov. Korlov by Korlov. 
Of course, this is an Eau de Parfum, so it's interesting. It doesn't break the bank either. It starts at about $35 and up. I bought it from FragranceNet. Of course, this video is not sponsored, so I'm not sponsoring anything. I'm just telling you where I bought it from. I'm not sure where to buy it in store, but if you like an almond note, if you like hypnotic poison, if you like Baccarat Rouge combined with a hypnotic poison, then you for sure would like this one too. Only it's a fraction of the price. So yes, I recommend it. And it's a nice fragrance to wear for Valentine's Day, for instance, or for a romantic event also. That's where I, wear, I would wear it. And of course, a day fragrance, not really a night fragrance, in my opinion. Of course, you can wear it at night if you feel like it. You can wear it in the winter time also. Not in the summer. I don't think I'm going to wear this in the summertime. I think more like in a cool season, not very cold season. So spring, fall, maybe the beginning of winter, but mm, I wouldn't do it too much in the winter time. But it, it would work in the winter as well. Not in the summertime. I don't think so. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly dry because of the mask, but it's beautiful. So overall, Thumbs up for this fragrance. This was Korlov, Korlov. My name is Georgia. Thank you so very, very much for watching and see you in my next one.